see she don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hit and love. Scanny ass bitch there. What's good YouTube? It's your boy LB Skinny. Today I am here back. Uh, this is the motherfucking Boondocks video of uh, R. Kelly, his trial type shit. Y'all heard what the fuck going on? R. Kelly with the I mean, I said R. Kelly. R. Kelly with the uh, sex cults or se uh, abusive cults. Something he got going on. Look it up. I did a reaction video on it. I'm gonna put the link. I'm gonna put some other link too. I forgot what link it was, but yeah, man. Let's check this out. Real niggas remember this episode. Oh, 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 Sure. It's 916-34-7865. Okay. God bless. <laughs> well, he told the social security and everything while he peed on her, on the phone. Now, young lady. On camera. I know this might be no. hard to talk about. No, it's cool. <laughs> How old were you when you were seeing Mr. Kelly? 14 and a quarter. Wow. <laughs> That's a great age, isn't it? Still learning so much about the world. Whatever, I guess. <laughs> Could you describe the events leading up to the shooting of the video? Yeah, he asked if he could pee on me and I said for sure. <laughs> hey, it's R. Kelly, the Pied Piper of r and I've been peed on by guys that don't even have record deals. <laughs> Shit, if I didn't want to get peed on, I'd just move out the way. I, I told you. Yeah. Would you describe yourself? You don't want to get peed on, you just got to move. African American woman? Nigga, you blind? <laughs> Gentlemen of the jury, all the well, uh, But that's then they, they went through basically they went through the trial and then motherfucking they they try to mind control with music basically right here. They just like they just gonna turn on some R. Kelly music. <laughs> Everybody just forget about it. And, it, and that's real shit though, and that's really how it is. Cause watch, about next month, R. Kelly gonna drop his album that he was talking about type shit, and then bam, he gonna have all these black women rocking with him, touching on him and shit, and he just gonna be back to damn R. Kelly like the Boondocks warned us about this shit. That episode came out about probably at least six, seven years ago, I think. Maybe less than that. I might be wrong. But that was him in a case. 
he had previous cases before then. He had cases after that episode came out. And now he's in another case. So, you know, if all this shit, this shit is just accumulating, you know. I don't know. I don't know if he gonna come out singing in this motherfucker this time. If they can really find these girls and really get them to admit, well, I don't know. They always somehow get some girls to admit. I don't know. R. Kelly is a motherfucking... His music is motherfucking sex-driven music. Like, that's what he strives for. So, I'm pretty sure these bitches want to fuck R. Kelly. So, I don't, these bitches want to be in the cult. Let them be in the damn cult. Man, your daughter, you should have raised her right. You should have kept her tight. Because her pussy ain't tight now. Because this nigga R. Kelly is the damn moderator. I don't even know if Monterey is a word, but y'all done fucked up. R. Kelly is on the loose. Man, I don't know what to say about this, man. <laughs> man, I'm gonna put the reaction video to the uh, the actual story about R. Kelly somewhere. But yeah, man. Till next time, YouTube. I'm out. Strongest on Amelia. Bitch, do you wanna ride? Do you? Do you wanna get inside? Do you? Bitch, ass or gas? Bitch, ass or grass? Do you wanna ride?